Hello! What's up guys? Uh, today I am super excited to do the, what is it called, my first tag. And I don't think that I was specifically tagged by anybody, but I love the questions in here. I thought they were so much fun. So I thought that I would do it for you guys so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. When I first saw this, I was like, my first? Like, what the? That sounds super personal. But then I saw some of the videos and I liked some of the questions. So let's get started. The first question is your first word. And I mean, I think that this question is kind of like, duh. I mean, every baby's first word is either dada or mama. Um, but. I thought I'd kind of go outside the box a little bit, and my first word actually was mama. I've asked my mom before. But my third word was actually agua, which is in Spanish, means water. And the reason why my third word was agua was because we actually, my sister and I, actually had a Spanish-speaking babysitter growing up. And so when we were little, if we wanted water, she knew it as agua, so that's what we called it. Uh, so I guess my mom and dad had a really fun time when they came home one day and I was asking for agua instead of water. It is my first friend. And this is actually something that I remember so vividly. It's kind of crazy. My first friend was actually not until like really my like really my first friend was in kindergarten and i remember being out in like at recess if that's what you call it in kindergarten and they had like those little itty bitty tricycles and i was riding one and then this girl came up to me and she was like hey do you want to be friends <laughs> and now i laugh at it i'm like god that's just the most like upfront and blunt way to like ask somebody to be friends with you but it worked for a really long time her name was jill and we were friends all the way up and through high school and we kind of lost touch after after high school and we both went off to college but uh, I do remember that so vividly like hey do you want to be friends and now I look back at it I'm like god that was so cute why can't we do that nowadays it would just make life so much easier first pet when I was a baby my parents had a boxer named Rocky which I do remember um, but like my actual first pet was a cat named Sassy and I named her Sassy because of the movie Homeward Bound. Not sure if you guys remember that movie, but uh, yeah, she was just like a little calico cat. She was actually a stray, like just like a neighborhood stray cat that we just kind of took in. I remember we like every Saturday night she would come over and we would just feed her like leftovers, which actually now that I think about it probably wasn't the best thing for her, but she kept coming back. And then after a while, we just kind of adopted her. She, eventually she just never left. So yeah, it was a cat named Sassy. She was literally the coolest, coolest cat I've ever like witnessed in my life. And I'm not a huge cat person, but uh, she would like hop up on the counter and like when she wanted water or agua, she would like rub her head against the faucet. So we'd turn on the faucet for her and she would drink right out of the sink. Funniest cat ever. She was, she was hilarious. Super smart cat too. Um, so yeah, that was my first pet. My first fear. And this is a really hard one. I don't really remember being really scared of anything. I remember as a kid, I really did not like scary movies. And my dad would always like make us watch scary movies and then just kind of like lurk in the corners and scare the bejesus out of my sister and I. And so I do remember that. But that sounds really bad to say that my first fear was my dad. I would say that another one of my fears was water skiing. I grew up on a, a lake and so and we had a boat so it was kind of like a family thing. We would all go out on the boat over the summertime and uh, my dad was a big skier and so he would always try to teach us to ski and this was like something that we would do literally every year from the time that my sister and I could swim. And it was just the worst experience ever. I would try every year but every year like it was just you know, you're sitting there in the water and you're getting the water up your nose and it's just not a good experience. So after a while, I was just kind of like, this is just not fun and I can't do it anymore, Dad. So then that's when my sister and I kind of got into like kneeboarding and wakeboarding. But yeah, first fear was probably water and getting that nasty ski water up my nose when I was a kid. <laughs> Random. My first text today. Let's take a look. Oh. 
My first text was actually to my boyfriend because I got this really funny, like a link to a really funny um, like set of videos to watch. And I don't even know, I think I got it from somebody at work, but it was like chives, no, the vines, funniest videos of 2013 so far. Oh my god, I was dying of laughter. And I'm supposed to be like at work in my in my desk, just kind of focusing, and so I, I text my boyfriend the link to that thing so he could take a look at it. And if you guys want to watch it and you need a laugh, just Google Chives. No, no, no. I keep saying that. Not Chives. The Vines best videos of 2013 so far. And you will see, I, you will see why I was dying this morning. It was so, so funny. I'll probably watch it again later tonight just so I can get a good kick out of it. Okay, so that was the first text that I sent today. My first car, hi, my first car, that was a 1996 Toyota RAV4. It was sexy. It was a burgundy color, and I did get it right when I got my license. Like, I drove, well, my dad drove the car to the DMV on the day, on my 16th birthday, so I could take the test in my car, and then I have my license after that. So it was like, I can't complain too much because I did have a car the day that I turned 16. It wasn't like a sex machine or anything. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like the cutest thing in the world, but it, it ran, so I can't really complain too much. But if you guys don't know what a Toyota RAV4 is, Google it, and that was what I was riding in. Um, super cute, be jealous. Next question is my first phone. Didn't everybody have this as their first phone? My first phone was the Brick. And if you don't know what the Brick is, it's the Nokia, the old school Nokia phone. The one that you could literally toss across the room and it would not break. That was my first phone. I got it in eighth grade and I felt like so cool. Now that I look back on it, it was probably like the old school like, if you watch like old episodes of Saved by the Bell, the old Zach Morris phone where it's like this long and the cord is like hanging up here. That's probably what it looks like now to us, but yeah, that was my first phone. Um, I just remember sitting in class and playing Snake on it. If you guys are my age, then you remember Snake. First date, ooh la la. First date, hmm. My first date was not your typical like love story first date. I had actually spent the night at my friend's house who lived probably like 20 minutes away from me, but the kicker was that she lived by my crush or my boyfriend or whatever you wanna call him. And she, so that it was like within walking distance of a movie theater too. So we spent the night at her house and then we decided, oh, hey, will you like his friend? I like him, so we'll go to the movies together and it can be like a date. And we thought that we were so smart for figuring this out. So we called him up, probably on my super hot Nokia phone, and yeah, we walked to the movie theater and met up with them and we sat next to each other and we held hands and we didn't kiss but i remember we watched this god awful movie i think it was i think it's called pitch black pitch something i think it's pitch black so stupid not a very romantic date to say the least. my first kiss you guys are gonna think i'm bad my first kiss was actually at Bible study. Yeah, it was at Bible study. And because my boyfriend was the pastor's son, I know you guys think I'm awful and like I corrupted him or something, but no. My boyfriend was the pastor's son. It was at Bible study. I was in eighth grade. I had braces. I was not cute. <laughs> it was like that awkward stage. And I just remember it, there was so much pressure. Like everybody was, like my friends were coming up to me and saying, oh, you should kiss him tonight. You should kiss him tonight. And I'm sure his friends were going up to him saying, oh, you should kiss her tonight. You should kiss her tonight. So we like met up at Bible study and I just remember everyone was like standing around us. And then it was like this awkward like exchange of kissing. It was, all I remember is like, that feeling of like everybody staring at us it was 
Uh, super awkward. Ugh. My first love, I would say, was high school puppy love. It was somebody who I'm not even going to mention just if he ever comes across this video. I don't want him to get the satisfaction of saying that he was my first love just because that's how he is. No, he's actually a, a good person. Uh, we dated all through high school. So literally like sophomore year through like right after senior year was when we broke up. Um, super nice guy. It was just like high school sweetheart puppy love. Went to proms together, went to dances together, um, all of that fun stuff. So yeah, I guess that was my first love. But thank goodness we grow up after high school and move on to other things. Not to say that some of you people who are still with your high school sweethearts aren't really with the person, the people that they're supposed to be with because Lord knows you've probably missed out on a lot of douchebags in your days. So lucky you. And first video, well I just started this, so first video wasn't too long ago. It was actually the, no it wasn't about the extension. My first video was the Sephora haul. Uh, I had just gone shopping at Sephora obviously and I came back with all this stuff and my sister had kind of been talking to me about starting to do videos just to see like you know what kind of followers I could get and she said that you know it, it would probably be a lot of fun and so I was like, hmm, okay, I had just got a new camera and I did not know what the hell I was doing when it come, came to like lighting or, you know, looking at the camera or anything like that. It was just, it, it looked super awkward and it looked super immature. Um, so I have definitely learned a lot in just like the last couple of months, but yeah, can't go wrong with a Sephora haul, right? first person that I subscribed to. The first person that I subscribed to was Jaclyn Hill. All of you guys know Jaclyn Hill, I'm sure, and if you don't, you need to get out from underneath your rock and go check out her videos because she is like literally really, really good at what she does. Um, actually, my sister, I remember my sister watching YouTube videos all the time and learning how to do makeup and, you know, really getting into it. She would literally like lock herself in a room and watch YouTube videos all night and I could never understand why. I was like, what, what is so attractive about all of these YouTube videos? Um, and then finally I was on Pinterest one day and I came across, it was actually like a thumbnail of Jacqueline and it was something about like flawless face, something like that and the little like blurb underneath said this girl knows what she's talking about check out her videos I was like okay it was on Pinterest probably wasting my day away and I clicked on it and I just became addicted she's really like I said she's really really good at what she does um, fun personality good quality videos like good lighting everything like that so if you guys haven't already you should definitely check her out because she's good real good Last but not least is my first concert. This is kind of embarrassing because I did not go to my first concert until I was in college. Yeah, college. So, yeah. And it was with my second college boyfriend and it was All American Rejects and Fall Out Boy. And I just remember feeling so out of place there. I wanted to crawl into a hole and die because everybody was in their like Converse and their skinny jeans and their black like heavy metal alternative rock t-shirts and I just felt so so lost in my like probably pink tee and you know boot cut jeans with my heels on. I was just, I was way out of place. But uh, actually, they're really, really good. Like I like their music. It's just going to one of their concerts. I just feel out of my element a little bit. Um, my kind of music is more like, like I like country music. I like, um, I like a little bit of dubstep. I like clubby remixes. I like pop music. Um, and the openers for them too were very, very hardcore, like screaming hardcore. And so I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing here. It was not, it was not fun. And that was actually my first date with that guy. 
Needless to say, that didn't last long. I hope you had fun kind of getting to know me a little bit better, and I tag anybody who's watching this video because I want to learn more about you too. And I'm actually going to be filming another video here in, in the next day or so, so I hope you guys check it out. Bye.